Today we are going to be talking about how to determine what caliber your rifle is. Now the reason I bring this subject up, I mean most of your modern guns and everything of that nature are going to be marked with the caliber on the barrel or in some conspicuous type place. Um, but a lot of your older military surplus rifles and things like that, um, especially if they've undergone any uh, amount of retrofitting or refinishing or basically re-arsenaling of them, uh, they can often be re-barreled or re-chambered to different calibers. Um, you'll need a few things to accomplish this task. There's a product called Sarasafe Brownell Cells. Um, I've actually already done a video about this stuff in general. Today, instead of doing a bore slugging, we're just going to be casting a chamber with it. That's going to give us our dimensions so we can tell what we've got. Now, I've got a pretty strong idea what caliber this rifle is, but we want to be certain. You'll need a ladle to melt down the Sarasafe. You'll need some 30 caliber round balls. We're going to use these to actually slug the bore with. You'll need a cleaning rod that is capable of a fair amount of pounding, because you have to do that to get your Sarasafe out. You'll need a small propane torch to heat your Sarasafe, respectively. It'll help to have a reloading manual that's got all of your uh, dimensions and everything to go by. Of course, whatever calipers you're going to use to measure your chamber casting. And, of course, last but not least, you'll need a rifle of dubious origin, which we have here. All right, we've got our Mauser rifle here. You're probably not going to be able to tell all that great in the camera, but first thing you want to look for, of course, is any kind of distinguishing uh, markings of any sort. In this case, we've got a .30, which is either going to mean a 308 or a 30 caliber, which would be, at the time, this rifle was likely rebarreled, 30 alt 6 I'm fairly certain this rifle's in 30 alt 6 but for the purposes of this video, we're going to do the chamber casting. So we see that it says 30, and also, from my knowledge of Mausers, I know that this cutout in the front of the receiver right here is for the longer length of the 30 alt 6 cartridge. So that's a pretty good thing that you can tell if you have a 30 alt 6 Mauser. is going to be that cutout, and of course it'll be Mark 30. But, for the purposes of this video, we're going to do a chamber casting. Now, I've already cleaned the chamber real well. You want to make sure it's nice and clean and smooth. We're going to make sure there's nothing in it. Of course, there's not. I'm not stupid. Take the bolt out. And uh, from this point, we're going to drive a loose, loosely fitted patch, probably about that far, into the actual lead of the rifle. And we're going to proceed to heat up our casting alloy and pour it on in there. We'll go ahead and get that ready right now. It takes a very indirect amount of flame to melt the Sarasafe. Alright, it only melts at about 160 degrees. Doesn't take very much. You can even melt it with a uh, hair dryer or anything similar to that. Just bear in mind if your old lady catches you doing it, you might end up in some trouble. Alright, um, you probably can't tell much in the video, but you don't want a flame that's really all that hot. You know, you could even use it like a butane heating source or similar. Um, what I'm doing here is basically just getting this ladle kind of warm at the bottom and that's allowing me to melt my Sarasafe down. Alright, I've got a pretty big tablet here to melt down. doesn't take a whole lot. I'm going to get this melted down and we're going to pour it down the chamber. I'll show you that process. This is going to be very difficult to see people. My lo This is going to be very difficult to see. You're going to have to excuse my lighting and I don't have a cameraman. All those factors don't help. I'm just going to pour this directly out of the ladle into the chamber. Just like that. Now, you know, let this sit up. It helps on certain guns, depending on, you know, if it's the middle of winter and it's still kind of cold outside, you may want to go ahead and uh, maybe just preheat the metal on the gun itself. But uh, it should set up pretty much immediately. So I'm going to give this just a moment to cool down, and we'll tap it out with a cleaning rod. Basically what you want to do is just uh, have you a padded area for the Zero safe casting to fall to, and we're going to take the cleaning rod, insert it into the muzzle, 
you want to do it while it's still relatively warm. Uh, you don't want to get crazy, but there she goes. All right. Let's have a look at what we got. And that didn't even leave the receiver. It's uh, still right here. And I can tell by looking at this what it is, but uh, let me change the camera angle. There's our chamber casting. That's going to show us our, uh, you know, several factors, our throat wear and uh, everything from that standpoint. Let me change the camera angle and we'll have a look at this in a little bit closer detail. All right, we've got our chamber casting out here. I've got a round of 30 alt 6 to compare. I'm just going to look at them visually. At this point, I'm, I'm like 100% certain that this is a 30 alt 6 caliber rifle. And it's really about that simple. I can take some measurements. I can check it against the book, which I'm going to do. But I mean, that's basically all there is to it. It just makes a cast of the actual chamber itself, and that gives you an idea of what caliber gun you've got. Let me go grab the calipers, and we'll take a few measurements. We'll just bounce it off this cartridge. Based on what's in the manual here, we're going to take a few measurements and just see what we've got. I'm going to measure the throat measurement. So this throat on this rifle is about 312. So it's a 308 diameter bore. It's got a pretty good bit of throat wear. All right, so that's not a big deal. Not the best thing in the world for, uh, you know, outstanding accuracy or anything, but, you know, we just got to deal with what we got. Let's take a measurement of the base of the neck, the shoulder, I should say, I'm sorry. Okay, the reloading manual shows a measurement of 443. This is 443, right on the dot. All right, let's look at the webbing right at the bottom there. Let's take a just me base measurement there. They're showing 470 in the manual. This measures 470, and that came out of this uh, Mauser rifle. Okay, let's measure the top of the shoulder. They've got a measurement of 375. I'm showing about the same, 377, okay? And that's pretty much it. Um, you know, based on, I've got a live cartridge here in my hand to compare against it. And uh, this is most definitely a 30 alt 6 So that's how you can determine what caliber your rifle is. You know, if you're not sure, that's one way you can find out. I'm going to go ahead and drive a 30 caliber ball through the bore, and we'll measure it. I'm going to drive it in from the muzzle end but I'm only going to drive it in about four inches and then drive it back out the other way. That'll tell us uh, about what our uh, overall muzzle erosion is. Let's have a look. All right. So what this tells me is that we're definitely not going to have tack driving accuracy out of this rifle. 30 alt 6 utilizes a 308 diameter projectile. Our uh, muzzle erosion, at least at the end of the barrel, is 311. All right, and then or 312, and then we've also got our earlier reading of the throat shows 312. So, in a word, basically, this rifle shot out, but that's why you have casting. I can cast a bullet that will shoot wonderfully in this rifle. It's just a little bit of extra effort, not a big deal. The point is that we now know we have a 30 alt 6 caliber Mauser here. If you look at the projectile, you can see that when you factor in the actual uh, thickness of a stripper clip, that cutout in the front of the receiver right there is perfect for that nose to clear and load in there. Very cool.